Well, we have got this special guest. Here she is, straight from St. Louis, Mary Engelbright. Mary, it is so good to see your face again. How are you Thanks, doing? Mark. I'm fine. You're Thanks. Looking good. It's good to see you. You're looking good. Thank you. We both are feeling good. So that's great. Yeah. So yeah. We have lots of uh, fans. I do that. Uh, many of them are also Mary Engelbright fans uh, and vice versa. And I wanted to talk to people today about, you know, these really fun and we'll put it up on the screen, but these really fun ornaments that we did for you with your artwork and your designs and just wanted to talk about them further and also let people get to know you a little bit better. So that sounds uh, good. You know, I think you started, if, I, if I'm correct, you started out in the New York gift show um, a while back as an oh. illustrator or something. Right, a <laughs> while back. Yeah, we went to the gift show with just, I think, um, maybe 12 or 15 cards in our booth, but, um, it, they took off. They took off right away. So it was great. You, you've had a huge following really ever since. Um, what do you attribute that to? Uh, my charming personality, I guess. I don't, I don't, the cards seem to really speak to people. You know, a lot of people tell us they, they buy one to give to a friend. They buy the other, another one to keep um, because they, you know, I try to illustrate things that happen to everybody every day sure. and um so i think people recognize themselves and their friends in the drawings and um i think that's why they're uh, popular good, good insight for me to know that so so i know that mark roberts my company is not the first company that uh, you've licensed ornaments to uh or to translate your artwork into christmas decor and everything um but I, a lot of people probably don't realize i think it was about 10 years ago when we first worked together uh and here we are back again uh, doing it uh, for uh, an encore presentation, I guess. But what I know, I know, it's exciting. What, I can't believe it was ten years ago, but it I was. I, yeah. Time to fly. What yeah. fascinated me more than anything else is when we first started talking about this about a year ago, is how quickly you came up with new artwork. So how do you do that so fast? How do you do such great detailed drawings, so charming, so fast? Oh, thanks. I um, I love to draw. I just, I love to draw and I like to uh, stay busy. I like to always be making something. Um, the lockdown during the pandemic was my idea of heaven, actually, to be at home. And I was with my studio, in my studio every day with all of this stuff around me. And um, I just like to, I like to do it. And um, if somebody gives me a project, you know, like when we decided to do this kind of ornament, um, these little pillow ornaments, it just kind of opens up my mind right away to what kind of designs would look good on those. And I'm excited to get to it. And, and I work pretty fast. I mean, I've been doing it for, I hate to say how long. So I'm, you know, I'm fast. I'm so just you, used to you doing it. Best, you made the best of the pandemic and the lockdown by just staying busy. That's great. That's great inspiration for all of us. Right. Yeah. No, I got a lot done. Yeah. Well, that's that's exciting. So one of the things that you're famous for uh, are all the insightful and yes, cute sayings that are incorporated into your art. I always I notice that you always credit the sources, which speaks to the, your own integrity as a person, which is great. Um, but this inquiring mind wants to know how do you find so many great and inspiring inspirational sayings? Well, you know, that is part of the process and it's one, it's a very relaxing part of the process. I do it at the beginning, like before I'm gonna do a calendar or a book or um, whatever, I'll take a night and get my, well, and of course now it's so easy with Google um, and, you know, start looking up quotes and lots of times one leads to another too. You find a great quote and then underneath that, is on the internet, especially, you know, there'll be a bunch more quotes and that is very relaxing for me and um, really inspiring. So that's just, uh, I consider that part of the work, a one night devoted to that, to getting all the quotes for that project. Nice. Yeah. So all of these beautiful ornaments, there seems to be a story 
a story behind all of them. I love this, this one here, the uh, perfect Christmas tree ornament. And they're, they're so sweet to go together with, I'm gonna put them in his hand, uh, to go on the Santas that I do as, you know, when we did these previously. But right. I, guess, I guess I'm gonna have to raise him up here and Brian can show a full picture of him in a minute. But, you know, tell us, you know, what's the, what's the story, you know, what, what are some of the stories behind, what, what inspired you with each of these ornaments? Well, I actually thought, um, and, and this is from my childhood, I loved unpacking the ornaments with my mother yeah. to um, do the tree. Um, and each ornament, you know, it was a family ornament and had some kind of memory or some kind of story behind it. So when I was designing these, I was thinking of the um, kids who would be looking at them as they hung them on the tree, decorated the tree or unpacked them. And I wanted each one to have a little, um, a picture that a, a child could look at and make up their own little story about it, you know, and maybe pick their favorite and be excited every year to get that ornament out of the box. So that's always in the back of my head when I'm designing. That's fascinating that so many different artworks, so many different pieces come to life. Um, it's just fun to hear for me to hear from the artist who I'm fortunate and lucky to know in person, um, you know, the inspiration because all the times that we talk and have been together, we don't talk about mm -hmm. these things. We're talking about other right. things, you know, right. other, how we gonna, the logistics of putting something together or all of those, all of those other things that are not as much fun um, right. as the creative process. And so we rarely share our, each of our creative processes with each other. That's actually part of the live, the Facebook lives that I've been doing is to help share that creative process with my fans, my collectors. Uh, yeah, and I, think I think people are, sure like. people are really interested in that. I think they want to know that personal side of the design. You know, well, I, I have always been a fan of your work. So I, I, I can remember the moment that we met in person for the first time, which was in my Atlanta showroom. That's um, right. And it was exciting just for me because I'm, you know, I'm a fan of yours. Uh, as well mm -hmm. as, uh, you know, a contemporary. We work together on different projects together, but it's always been exciting. So we, to see that, how, how you put things together is always really exciting, so. Yeah, um, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I remember going in your showroom and thinking, oh my gosh, we could do this, we could do this, we could do that. And it we, was really fun when you said that you were interested. That was great. We, have, we had a lot of fun, so. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So yeah. This is, Good time. So we're looking to looking to have a good time with these, you know, going forward and do some different stuff with them. Um, but they're yeah. only available at, to the best of my knowledge, your we website, maryinglebright.com, uh, right. on the uh, seasonal or Christmas uh, section uh, for these ornaments. Right. That's the only place you're going to be able to get them. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, not going to be in stores. They're just here. So yeah. And there's quite a bit of stuff. You sent me all these great little things, these great books, the Christmas cards. I got all sorts of stuff. I love this book that you have, the big book of Santa. I've not seen this one before. Yeah, that one's pretty new and it's very popular. It's everyone, well, not now, now I have more, but at the time it was every Santa that I had ever drawn. Is really? In the, is in that book. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it's, uh, I think it's a good gift. You know, people, we um, get people ordering three and four and five at a time. So we assume that they're giving them as gifts. I, I yeah. can see why, I can see why. The, the most famous one that I think, I th at least me, that I think you are most famous for is the uh, Twas the Night Before Christmas that you did the illustrations for. Right. Um, what a great book this is. So I think I have one, I think I have one signed down in my office, which is like a library also with 500. I'm sure you do. Yeah, so, I'm sure I signed one for you. I, I believe so. That was great when you did that. So, so you didn't make me wait in. I did have to wait in line a little bit, but not that much, but that was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. So yeah, that, the, book is, that book is fun because I always hear from people. Um, as a matter of fact, my daughter came home from college with a friend and was showing her the studio and she saw that book. And said, hey, wait a minute. We've been reading this since I was little, every Christmas. And she was, you know, excited to find out that I had done it. But it's 
it's fun to think that it's a part of people's Christmas tradition. If that's that's a great, great feeling for sure. Yeah, yeah. And that's I hope these ornaments are too, you know. Will be nice. So yeah. do did I understand correctly uh, when people order them today or this week or whatever that time frame is that they're going to be signed? I believe it's today. Um, I will sign the ornament for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. That's exciting. Uh, I've been to, we've done signings together. Uh, we've done right. we've been signing tours together where we were at the same stores together and there were hundreds of people lined up to get your ornaments or our ornaments in that case situation and right. your designs that we produced signed and it was so exciting to do those events together because we many it customers for many fans were fans of both of us and also there were many that were only your fans or only my fans but we all got to mingle together and just had a great time that was really a lot of fun those, those were fun those were really yeah. fun signings yeah i, I yeah. in fact i think that's where we got a, a piece signed if i'm correct I think that we actually got something signed there. So okay, let's get this signed before we go, just in case. Right, so, right, good idea. So, well, that's all exciting. Um, our customers that are new to Mary Englebright, they can find you at maryinglebright.com. There is a mm -hmm. lot on your website. That is a great website. Everything we sell is on the website. So yeah, and we also, we've also got these new, um, you probably got them there, I think these new Christmas cards uh, I do. Box, box cards that are based on the ornaments. So the yeah. same designs that are on the ornaments are on the cards. So oh my gosh. Still I didn't even notice that. I like yeah. them, but there's so much stuff on my desk going on that I didn't need yeah. that. Great. <laughs> I yeah. Love, and I, so I love the Christmas. That'd be a nice combination, you know. Christmas cards are, uh, people are, are requesting them more, I think, because they're harder to find now. To find the really they nice are ones. yeah kind of you know well with the computer everybody sends emails and and uh but there are plenty of people out there who like the old-fashioned way and like to get a card and you know i love to get mail so um likewise for you. getting yeah. them opening them and reading the little whatever uh, message that's, that's sent or greeting exactly. so it just makes it pretty wonderful so right well, a great chance for us to sit and talk and introduce ourselves to uh, our respective uh, fans and collectors. So um, we're tentatively going to do this again, I think later in the year. We're in uh, September now. So um, first week of September, a little bit of few first 10 days of September we are. So, um, but I think we're going to do it again in either October or November, if I'm correct. So okay. uh, we'll look well, forward I'm ready. to more stuff. So, yeah. Great. Mary Englebright, great to see you. It's good to see you, Mark. All right. Thanks a lot. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.